Good day, YouTube. Uh, BSG just rolled out a huge podcast and a lot of things happened. I need to cover a lot of things, so let's not waste any time and get straight to it. Alright, so this works as a teaser to the new dynamic boxes, spawns and stashes. So after the patch uh, gets uh, to the game, after the patch goes live, we don't know when. All the boxes and all the stashes in game will be randomized and um, you will not be able to find them in the same place. And this also works as a teaser to the... Um, to the weapon stand. I think you will be able to assemble it in your hideout, probably. And, and somehow showcase your favorite guns. So that's a little teaser. All right, what do we have next? Oh, hello, chat. By the way, I'm live on Twitch. Feel free to check me out. A little plugin. BG also showed a brand new animation of um, overhead gun. Overhead gun, put like putting your gun overhead. as well as some vaulting. Um, this is the um, gear preset that's supposedly how it's gonna look like. It's not finalized, it's just a pre-render. So there will be there will be gear presets, just like you can build a gun, so you'll be able to assemble presets. Um, and we're also getting a couple of new guns. So the first one is AK-12, I believe, and Nikita said there will be different uh, versions of AK-12 available. Uh, then I think this is called uh, a VT, the automatic rifle. It's using the same caliber as the Mosin, which is 762 by 54 r I believe. So this is gonna be a very strong rifle. I mean, may maybe it won't, depends, depends on the recoil, but still, gonna be fun to use. Then we are also getting SCAR grenade launchers. We're also getting, what is this? VSK, I believe this is called VSK. Zun, thank you so much for the gifted sub. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, this is this is the VSK. Is it though? What about 9A? No, no, no. This is 9A91. Uh, yep, my bad. This is VSK. And this is 9A91. It's using the same caliber as uh, VSS, which is 9 by 39 uh, Did they show anything else? Yeah, they showed more. So we're going to be getting customizable armors. You will be able to put different uh, ceramic plates and maybe some other type of plates in your armor and uh, change the class of the armor, change the durability. And Nikita said recustomization is probably not coming to the game. Maybe some sometime in DLC or whatever, but armor customization is definitely coming. This is how the new... Um, UI is supposed to look like when you invite friends in your group, so you can see the group with your teammates, your friend list, uh, maybe maybe something regarding arena. This is getting implemented whenever whenever it's ready. What do we have next? 
Hideout. Hideout animations. And we are also getting some arena screenshots for different maps. I wonder if they have arena trailer. All right, quick little update. I forgot to show you the new trader UI and this is how it's going to look like. You will uh, be able to swap between the traders just from one screen, buy stuff, sell stuff. You will see your reputation. You will see your little ugly face in the top right corner. And this is how it roughly will uh, look like. So yeah, I forgot to add this and uh, you should know. So there we go. The day has come. I like how they had armbands on both of the hands. That was very helpful. All right, so this is the arena trailer. And I think out of the visual content bees you show, this is more or less it. So right now I'm probably going to go through through the whole podcast and um, share the other things they said to save you some time. Um, it's going to be a bit a bit chaotic. I'm going to just read it off the list. Um, and we're going to watch some Demirker's absolute monster of, of a gameplay. So in March, BG banned 25,000 cheaters. They are planning on uh, doing a nightmare update against the cheaters sometime soon. So cheaters gonna have a worse life. They're also moving to a new Unity, which will result in better gra graphics, less memory consumption, uh, especially for older systems. So the older systems should receive some buff. And if you don't have the top specs of the PC, the game should feel and play better. This uh, moving to new Unity is scheduled for April or maybe May. Tech patch. Architecture and client change of synchronization of the players. That will result in a higher amount of players per location and better FPS. 60 entities have been tested already and BG are getting like 10, 10 more frames, I assume. By 60 entities, they mean uh, in total. So players plus AI scaps plus player scaps plus the boss. In total, 60. Um, there's also in the plans... Global redesigning the core of the game. Uh, Nikita said that the game feels a bit outdated and using the new using the new stuff instead of upgrading old stuff is what they plan to do. So some of the code, some of the fundamental code will be rewritten and that's what they are working on at the moment. They also want to improve hit registration. They want to increase um, position accuracy on the client. So whenever you see the enemy that his position should be very accurate. Uh, in terms of being in sync with the server, increase FPS in online games, and reduce the sync. They are also working on the second iteration of the sound, I believe. Sorry, no, no, no. So that's for the first iteration, like for the for the nearest patch. And later on, they plan to they plan to refine new cooling system, which makes visual objects show or not show. Either, either like if you look at something which you're not supposed to see. If something is behind the wall, it shouldn't render, right? And whenever you go around the corner, it should render. So they are optimizing that. They also plan on reworking recoil. Nikita already has a design in his mind and they will plan, plan, they will test it, implement it sometime in summer 
or later. Um, the new cooling system is already on Streets and Lighthouse, and it will be applied to more maps in the future. Memory consumption optimizing, which will lead to less memory leaks. Glass optimizations. So all the glass that you can break in different houses, the breakable glass, it causes a lot of performance issues and BG is working on optimizing that. We are also be going to be getting um, a new boss on streets sometime in the future. Uh, he will be based on the parking where the car dealership is and I think they're going to change the car the car dealership into like a super reinforced building with landmines and maybe some snipers and it's going to be something similar to water treatment facility on lighthouse bg changed uh, blind fire animations i think you already seen that and there's more animations being added also shoulder swapping will be in the game sound second iteration of sound on locations transition between doors and basement so whenever you go from indoor into the outdoor um, or from basement to the ground level, that should feel more smooth. They also plan on adding sound diffraction. That means the sound from the hallway will be able to go into the outside and spread out. Combining current system and the bake-in geometry Oculus. I'm not sure what the technology is, but they they, they plan on working with um, with the um, um, Oculus uh, system, I assume. Sound, cha sound will change depending on how close the sound is to the outdoor. So let's say if you're standing outside the dorms and there's somebody shooting inside the dorms, if they're located in the middle of the dorms or close to that door that leads to the outside, the sound is supposed to be different. Smooth ambient uh, from indoor to outdoor. So right now if it's raining outside and you stand on the edge of the uh, hallway, you can see the rain. It's literally right next to your face, but there is no rain sound. And as soon as you walk outside, you will hear it. So that transition is supposed to be more smooth. BSG is also working on fixing sound starters and there will be a huge change to suppressors. So suppressors will have durability and depending on the durability of suppressor, the sound will be different. So the lower the durability, the worse the suppressor is, I assume the louder the gun will sound. Also there will be a sound change to subsonic cartridges. BSG is working on Streets of Tarkov expansion and it's nearly complete. BTR, aka a super big armored vehicle, is definitely coming to streets sometime in the future. I think BSG, I think they said they will talk about BTR on the next podcast. Um, also, different changes are planned, such as uh, choosing a body part when healing. So I, I think you will be able to choose if you want to heal um, head, chest, or something else by like a quick selection. Uh, there should be a button to turn helmet flashlight on. Double clicking meds and food will use them. What else? Mm. Da, 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 da. So all the discussed plans above, those are the plans for the next eight months ish. Um, Nikita also said that they might add MP40, aka the German, the most famous German gun for the Lulz, as he said. Hideout expansion, animations on the hideout. There will be more Lightkeeper news. Um, I think there will be more Lightkeeper quests. Maybe he will sell some stuff, buy some stuff. Nikita said it's secret information and he didn't tell much. There will be kill cam in Arena. There will be a new faster matchmaking in Arena and maybe it will make its way to Tarkov too. Custom games and custom tournaments will be available in Arena. So we will be able to make our own tournaments without BSG's involvement. And Nikita said that server T crate in Arena is supposed to be up to modern standards in esports. So I assume something like 128, maybe. And uh, I think I didn't really miss anything. I let you know the most important information. There is also Chronicles of Rigi, Chronicles of Rigi Part One out. So if you wanna watch that, feel free to check check it out on on YouTube. Right? Uh, it's available on YouTube now. Whew, that's actually a pretty long video, 14, 14, 15 minutes. I think I'll let you know everything you need to know. So if you're enjoying my content, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what you think about those updates and which one you're waiting for the most. Sub to the channel, enable all the notifications to not miss my future videos, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill and thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.